It's a desert playground that is now becoming a focal point for IndyCar racing. The Thermal Club, located in the Coachella Valley of Southern California, has hosted one of the more unique racing events in the history of the NTT IndyCar Series. Billed as the Thermal Club $1 million Challenge, this non-championship points event is all about big money and bragging rights here in this early part of the racing season. You know, racing for a million dollars is always exciting. Uh, it's, a, it's a lovely, beautiful facility that we are. We came here last year for testing and we had a positive couple of days of tests. So that, that idea of having a non-championship race here, trying to uh, race for you know, a good amount of money and uh, and have some fun in a beautiful part of, of the US. It's certainly a unique element, and I like the way that they've labeled it, the $1 million race. That's it's quite cool and entertaining, I think. As a, as a race fan myself, obviously, like I would certainly tune into that. And there's obviously going to be an element of, uh, I wouldn't say desperation, but no one really cares about well, there's no championship points on offer. So that, that you can sort of take out of the equation and just drive with a free mind, which is quite unique. The Thermal Club is a unique venue in itself, as the track is essentially a private country club for motorsports enthusiasts who want to not only enjoy watching racing events, but also getting a chance to do some time behind the wheel. It's also the home for the BMW Performance Driving School. So with this combination of a unique motoring venue combined with a high profile racing series, it creates a recipe for adding some more world-class entertainment to the Coachella Valley. Yeah, I mean, if I had one regret, regret it's that I don't have a facility here to come out and enjoy uh, as well. But it's, uh, this is, as I said, I've been to a lot of these sorts of tracks because of my business, but also just personal passion of outside of IndyCar racing, doing track days and getting out there with the enthusiasts and having fun, which is a growing, I would say quickly and vastly growing industry. Um, this is the creme de la creme like you're just not going to get any better than a thermal club so uh, it's a great place to, to come to it's a world-class facility i mean tell me which other track have you been to that you look around and it's like is that a villa you know like there's there's uh, there's a lot of them that are overlooking the track and um i i haven't seen that any other track you know you can you can practically live here if you wanted to um, and guys can have, you know, the 10, 15, 20 car garages and bring out their car whenever they want and just lap around, you know. So it's, it's a very different um, facility and I believe a business model, I would say, uh, compared to other traditional racetracks. The race was run in a unique format where preliminaries were used to determine a final 12 racers to enter into the big money race. And in the end, it was Alex Pelot to come away with a big trophy and a very big check. Overall, the success of this inaugural race lays down another must-see event in the growing influence of the Coachella Valley. From the Thermal Club in Thermal, California, this is J.R. Ibarra for Coast to Coast.